Hey guys, Jason with Patriot Pips. I'm gonna show you guys the trailer model. A quick little walkthrough. Got the wood storage for a folding shelf. Three quarter drain valve, comes with a bucket. Some decent mags on there. This one has the Santa Maria on the back. Two tail trues through this little notch system up here. Right on that notch right there, she's about three quarters. Already pre seasoned. Gonna start a little fire in it today. This insulator plate at the bottom was designed for a 14 inch split. I'd recommend anywhere between 11 and 14 inches. I make smaller pieces to get the fire going. I also use all the bark pieces to get a good hot coal bed going. So off inside here real quick. I use map gas and propane. If you have some small splits in there, it usually gets on pretty quick. This is also very dry cherry. about it. We're gonna let that get going. Let it clean up some. It's very windy here today. When the fire is getting going you will get a bunch of smoke out of the firebox. That is not a big deal. It's also about 35 degrees so it's gonna take her a minute to get up to temp. But once she gets up to temp she starts flowing very nice. It's been exactly five minutes since I put that torch out. When you're getting it started up, this side will climb higher. Cherry is already burning very clean, almost too clean. I'm just going to do a biscuit test today, though. About seven minutes in. you a couple different ways how to control the hot spot as the fire is burning it comes up and it goes under the deflector plate so your hot spot ends up right about here so I usually run it with the firebox door wide open and then I control the damper or you could run it with the damper wide open and control the firebox door or a little bit of both and actually get that hot spot right back here so she's running just pretty much wide open right now it's been about 
10 minutes since we got that fire going. It's starting to balance out, moving five degrees. I got the damper turned down just a little bit. 13 minutes. Damper is the trick to get these balanced out. Also to get that hot spot back a little bit closer to that end cap is to run the fire as close as you can to the door. It's a big firebox. There's no reason to have it in the middle or pushed all the way up front there. So we'll leave it closer back. Also apologize about my voice. I'm getting over a cold. Don't burn yourself. You seriously have your vampire teeth in? <laughs> really? Okay. Anyways. Shoveled out some of the coals to get the Santa Maria going. I'm gonna add a couple splits here. Got our temps back up. We're about 250. 55. I'm gonna throw the biscuits on. Got the biscuits on. I'm gonna cook them about 250, 275. About five minutes into the test. Got some sausage going over there. Say hi, Katie. Got some smoke in your eye. Good morning, grilling family. Temps are pretty steady. Like I keep saying the key is the damper. 10 minutes in. Can you guys guess what I'm making yet? I added wood right at the start of the test. I haven't touched the firebox, haven't touched the damper. Let's see where we're at. I think that's pretty good, guys. I don't have any internal probes, so I can't see that hot spot, but that biscuit's gonna, the biscuit test will show us where that is. Ten minute mark. I haven't added any wood, except for at the start of the test. I haven't touched the door, I haven't touched the damper. Let's see what's going on over here. pretty good it's pretty good if you open that damper up right there the collector side will climb faster than the firebox side this is the one that matters you can have four or five six tell trues on here but this is the one that matters 15 minutes Our temp climbed a little bit Tells me our wood is pretty much all charcoal right now. So in about another five minutes, 10 minutes, we'll see that temperature start creeping back down. And that's a good time to add another split or two. Still at the 15 minute mark. Let's take a quick peek, shall we? Done. I'm taking them off. And here's our hot spot. I'll just delete that though.
So you can see our hottest spot. It's right about here. Let's open this one up here. That was like a perfect, oh, I'm not even filming it. <laughs> that was like perfectly done. These ones over by the firebox side. They still came out good. Definitely a little crunchy around the bottom. However, that's to be expected. There's always a hot spot in the smoker and it's right where this grate is. I just shut the door. I just want to show how quickly that temp comes back up. That's the beauty of the 3H construction. It will just climb right back up. Alright guys, been about two hours since the biscuit test. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how everything came out. You're always going to get a hot spot on one of these offsets. All you got to do is figure out how to utilize it and you'll have good results. You can also control it slightly too. It just takes a little bit of playing around with. Thanks to Chris down at Holy Rollers Barbecue in West Virginia for letting me give that Santa Maria a test run. If you have any questions, you can find us at patriotpits.com. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you.